here at NIH, most of our clients are printing uh, or creating new lab equipment and new solutions for problems in their labs. Things that would have been harder or more expensive to um, fix, they're creating them themselves and they're printing here or they're doing prototypes here where, and then they can take what they have to the manufacturer. Um, 3D printing is best for unique items or for prototyping new items, not so much manufacturing and mass production because it takes so long. Um, some of the projects that have been done here are first a customer, she is getting a patent for her fly housing project and she works in NIDDK. Um, someone else designed a mouse heating pad to help mice uh, stay warm in an MRI machine. If you look at the table, someone has created uh, something to MRI fish. Uh, so things like this would be hard to go to Sears and purchase. Uh, so this is really what people are using for here. Um, in the future, one of the values of having a 3D printer in a library is people get a chance to learn how to do it. If they can print on a MakerBot or a consumer level printer, then they can print on something more sophisticated like a titanium printer that could be used for hip replacements. Uh, bioprinting to create new tissue uh, uh, tissue generation it is almost limitless. You're only limited by your imagination, really. And the scientists here, they're very creative.